Hey, 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 what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Yeah, man. I just, I just got done. I put up a video on Michigan versus Cincinnati. So if you didn't, so if you didn't see it, go check it out. I put it up right after this video. So go, so go check it out, man. This video. It's not like me. I don't usually talk about this team because, you know, they are rivals. And, you know, I, I despise this team a lot. I despise them. But this is such a big story of college football. You know, yesterday, I mean, last night, 8 o'clock. Oh, my gosh. And, no, I don't mean Michigan State. I mean Ohio. Ohio, no. I don't like Ohio State. I hate to suck eyes, but you know, I gotta put this out because this is sports. And you know, this is probably what y'all want too. Oh my gosh. I could have a lot to say. Uh. Woo! As y'all can see, I'm tired right now, but you know, we're gonna get this, we're gonna grind this video off. Man. Where do I begin? So like I said, or like I tell people, JT Perry is not a accurate quarterback. He's not a pocket passer. He's a running quarterback. And people want to mistake his 300-yard games. And, but y'all don't realize that's 300 yards total. It's not 300 yards passing. It's usually 200 or 100. He never passed the 300 mark. I think it's one time he passed the 300 mark, and that's because, you know, it was overtime. So, you know. But people just now realizing, and even the state fans, Ohio, Ohio fans, just like, oh, my gosh, get JT out of there. Should we make a change at quarterback? And I'm just like, no, don't try to make a change now. Y'all saying he's the Heisman. He's the Heisman runner-up. He's he's in a season to win the Heisman. So don't don't so don't back out on him now because he lost the championship. I mean because he lost the game. Things happen. Ohio. This is what y'all need to know about Ohio State fans. They love their team. They love their team. But they only love them when they're winning. That's the difference between Michigan and Suckeye fans. Suckeye fans love their team when they're winning. But when they lose, and they only lose like one a game. I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. They lose like one game a year, maybe two. Maybe two. But when they lose that first game, oh my gosh, get JT out of there. Uh, should we have kept Urban Meyer? And I'm just like, don't be trying to look for another coach. Not because if y'all do, y'all be stupid. Urban Meyer is the only coach in, in history to have more wins, I think. To be undefeated against Michigan so far. And that hurt me to say that, but he's your coach. You know, one loss is not going to... Is not gonna break your spirits, but they can't take a loss because they're so used to winning. They're spoon fed with wins. They think they're the most winning this program in the history of sports, which they're not. Michigan is. Y'all still have a long ways to go, buddy boys. But they, they just can't take a loss. And it's just like y'all not true fans, then. Y'all only love Ohio State when they winning. Y'all don't love them when they when they losing. I love my squad when they lose, win, tie, bl get blown out, blow them out. I don't care. That's my squad. I've been repping Michigan since I've been four years old. I'm 19. Going on 20. That's 16 years. Come on, now. I'm not for to turn my back on them. Now, maybe the coach. Because people say, oh, the coach don't be on the field. Yeah, but the coach prepares them to play like they do on the field. So when when Brady Hoke had Michigan on the field playing sloppy, 
then you're a sloppy coach. But anyway, this is about Ohio State. So, yeah, Oklahoma came in, repaid the revenge, thrashed them, dominated them offensively and defensively throughout a whole 60 minutes and put up 31. And Ohio State home opener in the horseshoe. Like, come on, in the horseshoe? You let them do that on your first home game opener. And then what makes it so bad, oh my goodness. Ba Baker Mayfield, or whatever his name is, Oklahoma quarterback, he was going dummy on them. I mean, passing for over 300 yards, maybe three touchdowns on them. Oh my goodness. I couldn't take it. I wanted to see more. <laughs> I just said. But anyway, no. Nah, you know, it was kind of disappointing. I, I I expected Ohio State to put up much of a fight. You know what I mean? You know, y'all, people ride y'all every year. They put y'all at number two when y'all didn't deserve it. Y'all got blew out 31 zip by Clemson. Y'all should have at least been starting off at number six in the in the new season. But they put y'all number two. So y'all got to meet those expectations. And y'all didn't even beat Oklahoma. But Oklahoma is good this year. They repaid them because they remember Ohio State came to their field, blew them out 45-24. And uh, then they sung they a victory song in Oklahoma field and it's just oh my gosh that was so disrespectful so Baker Mayfield returned the favor blew them out in they home field and I think that was a home opener as well last year it was a home opener op Oklahoma's and now this year it's it's um Ohio State's home opener oh my gosh and when I tell you that if I was Ohio State, I would have to come out that locker room and punch Mayfield. Y'all would have to run that fade. Because when I say that Mayfield carried the Oklahoma flag, he said it wasn't planned. He said it wasn't planned. It wasn't. Carried the flag to the center field. You know, at the 50 yard line where the logo went and planted the flag in the oh, oh my gosh. I was looking like, I know he didn't just do that. I just know he didn't just do that. Like, just think about it. You're the home team, y'all lost, and then you see the opponent team. Grabbing whatever and planting a flag in the middle of y'all midfield. That's a sign of disrespect. But Baker Mayfield said he did it because they sung their victory song. They must have implant something in the middle of our, you know, our field. But they did humiliate us by singing their song like they was the home team. So we repaid the favor. We celebrated on their field while they went back in the locker room. In front of, in front of 100K people. Because Ohio State fans came back out to video to video record it. They were gone, but they came back out after they seen him carry the flag and they video recorded it in front of millions of people and spite it on y'all. Um it was a it was an interesting game. I just didn't expect it to get out of hand like that, especially for Ohio State, because like I said, Urban Meyer is one son of a bitch. He is one son of a bitch that can coach. I, I give him that. He's a hell of a coach. Hell of a great coach. And just to see him not, you know, coach, 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 coach. Like, say something in the locker room or something. I mean, Ohio State, they came out punching. You know, they scored their first touchdown the second half in, like, two minutes. But then after that, they didn't score no more. And it's just like... That defense was atrocious. I never seen. I always tell people Ohio State is not known for their defense. 
They're only known for their high power offense. But people don't want to believe me. You can pass on Ohio State every day because that is not what they practice. They practice offensive power. They are a hit you in the type of they are the hit you in the mouth type of guy. Kind of like a Conor McGregor. They are an attacker, not a defender. Michigan, we're a defender. We have offensive weapons too, but we're mostly a defender. We're going to make you feel our hits. We're going to make you throw the ball. And when you throw the ball, we're going to make you pay. That's just how Michigan is. Ohio State, different team. They like to run the ball a lot. As you can see, JT Berry, he, he runs like 16 out of, you know, 100 you know, plays, but that's why he be racking up over 100 yards because people don't know when he running. And when he has people open, he still runs. He just want to run. He's a running quarterback, and people don't want to see that. He's a running quarterback. He's not a great quarterback. He's a running quarterback. So, I mean, I, I don't see how y'all didn't see this. When he came into the Ohio State as a freshman, he, all he did was run. When I seen them go against Michigan, that time that they blew us out, 42-13, which hurts my soul, all he did was run. He didn't pass. He only passed like two times, bro. Literally. He only passed like two times. He ran the rest of the game with Ezekiel Elliott. So it's just like, how don't y'all know what's coming? But yeah, um, it was a great game to see because I'm a Michigan fan and I love to see them sometimes I love to see them get wrecked but most of the times it's weird for me because I want I want I want my squad to play them at their best I don't want them beat up because I want I want to play y'all at y'all best so we can have something to brag about like y'all were a good team and we beat y'all fair and square like, last year could have been like that, but because all them cheating-ass refs. But, yeah, like I said, you know, it was it was crazy. You know, I put it all on Snapchat. Ugh. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. But, yeah, like I said, go check out my Michigan video if you haven't. I posted it up. And peace.